me being from kerala which is a model state regarding the health matters i do expect the chair to be a little benevolent sir i don't want to politicize this issue mr rajesh sinha baat kiya ba gaya he only he only politicized this matter and actually there was no need to bring in political formulations i congratulate congratulate manoja see if education can be brought as a fundamental right there is no harm in bringing health which is a cardinal issue cardinal point cardinal subject though implicitly it is part of the right to life but health need to be given the importance that it deserves the biggest problem our honorable minister is a very straightforward minister he is very genuine he wants to do something i know that but he is unable to do he is unable to do because of the lack of resources let's let us appreciate that i will not blame him individually only thing is that he has to speak up he has to tell the leadership that more allocation has to be given to the health sector sir thousands of people died without getting access to health even those people who got access to hospitals they died because there was no oxygen i don't want to remind about those days sir sir we talk we talk about the ruling party member was very elaborate with regard to the improvements that have happened to the health sector sir let me just read out one statistics sir we all harp on sri lanka now now sri lanka is the focus there was a briefing by the external affairs minister for the all party or for the leaders of all parties with regard to sri lanka sir with regard to the health i would just point out one index we have 1.4 hospital bed for 1000 against the world average of 2.9 sir sri lanka has 3 per 1000 3 per 1000 we all talk about sri lanka there are sectors where we lag behind we need to have more focus more resources sir if i told you want to improve this at least two beds for 1000 assuming that mansukh sahab want to take it to two beds per thousand for that we need to open at least 5000 more hospitals with 200 beds yes. do we have the resources so there has been lot of talk about what is that pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana rajesh sinha was very very kind enough to give us a lecture on that sir what has happened the allocation the allocation has been drastically reduced even the allotted amount has not been spent let the minister check the economic survey let him just go through the 15th finance commission report i only want to want, want the minister to go through three four documents let us let let him not trust me let him think that i am trying to mislead him let him just go through his economic survey his national family survey 15 finance commission the standing committee report this four documents if he put together that will give the real picture of the health sir yes, two three minutes more sir i am from <laughs> kerala sir sir <laughs> sir now say you know that sir sanjay singh is here his party has been harping on mohalla clinic here and his leader has been coming to kerala to lecture us kedriwal ji sir 60 years back we started this primary health centers please ask usha ji there is a health center in every village please conclude even the doctor from gorakhpur he married conclude. a malayali girl because we have a good healthy condition there ask him and suchil kumar modi ji i asked him he married a malayali girl only because she is from kerala no personal that remarks is, no personal sir, remarks that will be examined two three points more that i will just conclude sir sir vice chairman sir two three points more sir 
So the biggest problem now, the biggest, please, this is something to guide and give inputs to the minister. The biggest problem in this country is that. 70% of the people, 70% depend on the private sector. Only 30% in the government sector. Sir, it is just vice versa in Kerala. 80% of the health needs are catered by the government sector. Only 20% by the private sector, sir. One more thing, sir. Do we in the COVID time? 95% of the COVID patients were treated free of cost by Kerala government sector. Only 5% went to the private sector. Even in that 5%, 3% were supported by the Karunia subsidy scheme. Further, we put a ceiling. Further, we put a Please, 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 Further. Rakesh ji. Further. Rakesh ji. Please, Rakesh ji, Rakesh ji, please, please. Honourable Shri Bittas ji, address the chair. Honourable member, please address the chair. Sir, I am addressing, sir. Sir, now, please allow me to dole out two, three statistics because I don't want any obfuscation about the statistics here. Just bear with me. I am not talking about Kerala, I will leave Kerala. I know when I talk about Kerala, it is it is uncomfortable for some people. Let's sir, conclude. Let's sir, conclude. Sir, please, two, three minutes. So it's a private member's day. You should be benevolent. Sir, let us not grow up in the dark, sir. See, I would tell you one more thing. See, what is allocation he has made? Now, what is allocation, sir? Now, compared to the previous revised estimate, hardly 0.2% increase. Despite the fact that COVID pandemic broke out. 50 lakh people died. Health emergency in the country. You know what is the increase in the, what is the, increase in the health budget? 0.2%. See, can, can, can this country, can please this conclude, country... Please conclude. Sir, I please conclude. conclude. Sir, please... We will examine. Sir, we will examine. they are disrupting me. They are disrupting me. Sir, and one more thing. When they talk about, when they talk about the health allocation, Sir, think about, think about, see how, how they mop up, sir, the resources. See, 53,846 crore, they are mopping up because of the 4% cess they are imposing on income tax and corporation tax. They are not allocating, allocating money. They have imposed a cess on income tax and corporation tax. Again, they have imposed another cess on import duty. Please Sir, conclude. Even Please conclude. then, even then, they cannot do any justice to the health sector which is plaguing. Sir, I will, I will just wind up by saying that. Sir, see, our mantra should be that. As the Finance Commission says that, 14% of the people, 14% of the people borrow money to go to the hospital. And every year, Six crore people are plunged into poverty because they approached hospitals for their health needs. Very every very year, very every year. I'll have to move on. I will have to move on. I'll have to move on. Yes, I am winding up. Sir. 30 seconds. I am winding up. Please. Last minute, sir. Last second. Sir, we have to think about this. We are pushing the people to poverty because they have nowhere to go to fulfill their health needs. We need to consider this as the fundamental right. And I would earnestly invite the Honorable Minister to visit Kerala and see what we have done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.